Hello everyone, we're evangelists Daniel and Linda Kindy from Jenison, Michigan with Unto Him Ministries MI. And we're here today to share a testimony with you of how God will work in your everyday circumstances and in ways that you have no idea how he's going to open a door for you to be a witness for Jesus. So we want to um, get, share a testimony today. Let's share the one about uh, Patrick when we were in uh, California. Okay. And uh, so I'll let you start. Okay, well, we had traveled to California, Sacramento, to go see our daughter and our grandkids. And so my wife made a phone call to our daughter and Lo and behold, our daughter didn't answer the phone. So then she said, well, let me try one of my uncles. And she tried one of her uncles and the uncle didn't answer the phone either. So then my wife came up with this great idea on spending some time at the Goodwill store. And I said, Goodwill store? I didn't want to go to the Goodwill store. Because <laughs> I love thrifting. <laughs> so I said, because I love you, okay, we're going to go to the Goodwill store. So we walk around for about a half hour and now my wife wants to try on some clothes at the Goodwill store, so I'm trying to be patient, waiting for my wife, and I'm standing there as she's in the dressing room. Dressing room, and I look over, and there's a gentleman sitting on a chair with a medical boot on his leg. And I said, "Well, what happened to you?" He said, "Man, I almost lost my life. I fell off of a high ladder, and I messed up my leg." He says, "Man, and I've been in prison, and but he says things are going better." I got a job and I got a car and I looked at him and I said, yeah, but do you got Jesus? And he put his head down and all of a sudden big tears are just flowing down his face. And I said, Patrick, I come all the way from Michigan, 2,200 miles to let you know that God loves you and he hasn't forgotten you yeah. and that you're somebody and he has a plan and a purpose for your life. By this time, my wife, had came out and she's listening to what I'm sharing with Patrick. Mm -hmm. And so at that time I could see that God had touched and broke his heart mm -hmm. and he could feel the love of God. Yeah. And so at that time he took my hands and he said, you know, I want to pray and I do want to receive Christ as my Lord and Savior. So right then and there yeah. he received Christ, as you know. Yes. And so from the big tears rolling down his face, now he had such a big smile knowing yeah. and feeling the love of God in his yeah. heart, in his life, all because I agreed to go to the <laughs> Goodwill store uh, to please my wife. Right. So, But see, this is a, a situation and a circumstance where we, we didn't know we were going to be going to that the thrift store that day. You know, we had in our plans, we were going to get with our daughter or my uncle, but yet God said, no, I have a different plan. And so the steps of the righteous, the Bible says, are ordered of the Lord. And so we have to be ready to go wherever God leads us, to yeah, have an open right. heart, to be aware of our surroundings and the people around us so that we can show the love of God to people and lead them to Christ if need be, or to pray with them or to give them an encouraging word. So that's our mission in life. And we just wanted to share that with you today. Amen. God bless you. Amen. God bless.